Welcome back, everyone. The path to success can be full of obstacles, but how we respond determines whether we achieve our dreams or give up altogether. Here to coach us through is the best-selling author of Life Coaching for Successful Women. Welcome to our home, Valerie Burton. Welcome, Welcome Valerie. Valerie. Hey, so 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 I want you to know I'm crashing the party here because <laughs> I think there's a lot that men can take from this too. So I'm gonna well, I'm gonna pay attention. You know what? It's learn. not. It's true. It's not just women. It's everybody. It is. You know, it's <laughs> young men and I women. Just she just happened to gear it towards women. Well, because she's a woman. I think it's, there's a lot of wisdom in this. So thank you. It's so true. So you say that asking ourselves questions yeah. that are rooted in our core values is actually one of the best tools for success. Yeah, your values are just what's important to you. And I think life moves so quickly that sometimes we don't slow down to say what really matters to me. And is that showing up in my priorities and how I live my life? But asking questions is super powerful. Most people are constantly looking for answers, but they don't stop to say, well, what do I want? What does success look like in this season of my life? What's this goal going to give me that I don't already have? And so the book is really about the kinds of questions you need to ask yourself to get to the goals and the things you really want. Well, because a lot of times people say what, don't, what I don't want instead yes. of what I want. And I often feel, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but by putting that don't in there, you're inviting negative energy into your life. Yeah, a lot of times we're like, I don't want this anymore, I don't want that, or we complain. And so if you find yourself constantly complaining or talking to people about the things that aren't going right, at some point you have to say, well, what do I want here? What's the solution? What is it that I wanna do differently so that you change that conversation from the problem to the solution? I feel like just the act in itself of asking yourself a question opens up a world of possibilities. Like in, in other words, like you say, we jump to the solution or a solution without just taking a second and asking ourselves yeah. a question. I mean, what, even when I read that, I was like, man, I gotta start doing that. Yeah. So um, when we're facing challenges, when we're facing or trying to tackle some opportunities, one of the things I think that gets in the way for a lot of us is fear. Yes. Mm. Talk to us about this. What we can do about <laughs> so it. So true. Yeah, and I think we live in a world where we're constantly told to be fearless, and I think fearlessness is a myth. <laughs> no one is fearless. What we really need is courage, because when we're having those difficult conversations we need to have, when things are unpleasant, when we need to make a big change in our lives, Fear is inevitable, right. yeah. but it's not a stop sign. And you have to realize that getting out of your comfort zone is uncomfortable. We typically get out of the comfort zone and we think, oh, why do I feel uncomfortable? Well, because it's not your comfort zone anymore. Right. So expecting the fear and moving forward anyway is important. And would you say also that fear can manifest in different ways? Like it can be yes. anxiety, it can be hesitation, it can yeah. be, you know, yeah. like there's, there's different levels of fear. It will come out in some way I or another. I feel like it is, yeah. and we don't may always recognize yeah. it as fear. Is that yeah. true? Yeah, the things you said, it also so it comes out in anger, it comes out in jealousy, mm -hmm. it comes out in all of those what if questions. So you've come up with what you wanna do and how you want to move forward and then you're thinking, well what if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if I don't have enough experience? What you have to do is answer your what if questions. What if you fail? What then? You failed before. Right. <laughs> How would you true? handle it? Typically, we let the what if questions stop us. Right. And what I'm saying is go ahead and answer the question. And then you see yourself on the other side of that fear and you realize it's not the end of the world. Well, because it takes the power out of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I often tell my friends the same thing, like, well, are you gonna die? Right. And they'll say no. And I say, okay, then <laughs> guess what? You live to, to fight another day and we'll Absolutely. be all right. And also ask yourself, what if I do succeed? Yeah, that's that's the that's the one question. It's actually one of the name, names of one of the chapters. Oh. What if it does work out? Because fear is focusing on the things that might happen if things go wrong. But if you say, well, what would it look like if things go right? And you begin really focusing and meditating on that, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's I know. And it's so calming. There's a real sense of power in that. And you, you approach things in a completely different way. And I think people can notice that. Absolutely. You also talk a lot about the idea that um, success does not equal happiness. It's actually the other way around. Yeah, yeah. So in the book, I define success as a harmony of purpose, resilience, and joy. Like we're all here for a reason. We all have different gifts and experiences. We have to constantly bounce back because setbacks are inevitable and there is no success without joy, right? So the research actually shows that we think that if we're successful, we're going to be happy, but it's actually the other way around that success doesn't cause happiness. Happiness actually causes success and happier people live longer. They're less likely to get sick. They are more likely to get raises and promotions. So happiness is actually a success strategy. Right, you know, 
get it backwards. Yeah, but we talk about that all the time. I'd rather work with someone who is happy and kind than like the smartest person no in the doubt world. about it. And the you other thing I mean? is nothing out there, no <laughs> job, no amount of money in the bank account, no possession will make you happy. That will mm -hmm. never happen. If that's what you're striving for, to make it, it's yeah. never, ever going to happen. And we see it time and time out. again. It's so important. We've got to yeah. keep hearing it, though, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, good. So we've got our, our sort of our vision <laughs> about what we want and what success looks for us. But we got to acknowledge also that what success feels and looks like for us now, according to you, yeah. is going to be quite different 10 years right. from now. Why is that important? Well, we have different seasons of our lives, and sometimes we have a def definition of success that fit in another season, and it doesn't fit now. Right. And so we feel like we're failing, we feel like we're struggling. You have to step back and say, what is success in this season of my life? And another really great question when you're trying to figure out the next step is to say, looking back 10 years from now, what will I wish I had done? Like, this is really huge, especially when you get stuck in fear because mm -hmm. Your future self is going to thank you for doing the kinds of things that lead to the life that you want five or 10 years down the road. So when you get stuck, ask yourself, like, what would my future self wish I was doing right now? And then do that. Right. It's such great information. <laughs> it really book. is. And it's so true. Like, think about 20 years ago, what you thought success was. Do you think I could get my teenagers to listen to this? <laughs> I know, I know I need it. I know I need it. But I mean. Oh my gosh, I can't. I remember. Oh my gosh. I remember when I was on MTV Beach House. I was 17 and I thought, I am so successful. I made it. Oh my gosh. And my mom was shaking her head like, oh no, get my child off the TV. Thank you so much for yeah. being Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. Really so great information. <laughs> for more powerful lessons from Valerie, be sure to grab a copy of Life Coaching for Successful Women available now. Okay, right.